Wait there just a minute, buddy. Rewind the Hi guys, welcome. Hello. Welcome back to another episode of Wait, Rewind the Tape. Uh, this week we were uncharacteristically off-branded. We watched and review, will review something very topical as it's come out, not nine weeks later. I still feel like we're a little late, but... Well, yeah, but... Early that, for us. That's my fault. Early, yeah, certainly early for us. No, I wouldn't have yeah. finished. I don't think if we'd done it earlier either. We'll get to it. We'll get to what that is. Maybe you can guess. But uh, before we do... Um... From the episode title. <laughs> <laughs> From the cryptic episode title. What will we name it? Which was um... also the title of the series that we watched. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Good game. I don't know. I don't know either. I feel like it's quite late and we're a bit tired. Anyway. Yeah, friends um... off. Before we get to that, um, have you been, Ruth? What's going on? Um, I've got this. I'm all right. I've got things to of the work related things to do tomorrow. Um, basically, the only thing I will say about that is I've been just talking to this recruiter, and I probably shouldn't say this on the podcast, but like, what are the chances he's going to listen? Why did he text me today? Okay, so he's white oh, no. and he, he's married to a Ghanaian woman, as he's obviously let me know as soon as he saw. Oh picture. no! Why? He asked me where I was from. Anyway, of course. and you're like, it was quite Birmingham. awkward. <laughs> no, By way, crying first. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? Because like, I don't know what you mean. I went because I don't know. You're looking at my picture. I'm thinking, oh, do you mean because of my accent or something? Because mm-hmm. you've already talked about me being in Birmingham. So if you ask me where I'm from, and then he's like, because I've just seen your picture, and then I was like, oh, and I was like, but I was just like, but what do you mean? And he was like, oh no, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. And I'm like, I was like. I'm literally asking you what the fuck you mean because I don't know. I'm not like, oh my God, that's so offensive. I'm like, that's a vague question. Can you be more specific? <laughs> and I was just like, no, I think I actually said like, no, it's just that was quite a vague question. Like, like I just mean, what do you mean? And then he oh, was like, I oh, just, it's uh, just saw your picture. Couldn't, uh, couldn't help but notice that uh, you you're black. Look, yeah, I think that's what he meant. And Leah, oh. his wife is Ghanaian. And then today when he sent me a text, in the text message we've been speaking by text because i've got a a, a presentation tomorrow for it he said good luck with the darkest black fingers crossed (laughs) yeah you that's not for you sir that's (laughs) not for you use your own (laughs) skin color no but in in fairness he said great with the yellow thumbs up then good luck with the black Sorry, fingers why crossed. is that in fairness? <laughs> what ha- that's not in no, that means just, he I just wanted No, I just wanted to make it funny. <laughs> Wait, he you, is that is that for real? Yeah. Yellow thumbs up. So he no black fingers crossed. <laughs> he didn't even you do white hand thumbs up. Yeah, but he knows maybe, how to change the skin colour. So he but also maybe he's never used the thumbs up before. That's why it's still set to yellow. And maybe it's the black fingers crossed because he always sends a black fingers. But you can't. <laughs> or maybe he meant good luck and work. <laughs> no, that is not for you. Oh, no. Anyway, I was just like, I cannot. So I just have such a bad feeling about tomorrow. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm doing it again. And I'm re-watching Insecure and I've got to a part where it's just like, Issa comes to sort of like a crossroad where she's it's like I'm I actually asked myself this question today am I season one Lawrence in Insecure to those who haven't seen it (laughs) who is trying to get his business off the ground and needs to get a job or am I season three Issa who is giving up on a great idea to get a job that she knows is just like another thing even though she should really pursue her passion because there's a job in it Oh, yeah, both. I'm simultaneously. It's like Schrodinger's cat. (laughs) (laughs) I'm really that's quantum (laughs) physics. And I don't know if you've read The Secret, guys, but we know a lot about quantum (laughs) physics. We've read that book. 
I, I haven't, but I feel like I've heard enough. Hey, it. from me. I read it. I told you about it. And my sister as well. She's read it. <laughs> I want to, we need to get your sister on this podcast. <laughs> you know what? We should do a special, this is so random, on The Secret and speak to everyone who read The Secret and how they implemented it and how they feel about it now. Yeah. And whether they've stuck with it. Yeah. I want to know. Yeah. So, so far we have two people. Me and your sister. Yeah. (laughs) Who else has read The Secret? I know someone else. Someone called Jess has read The Secret. Okay. Right, well, that's the content taken care of. Um, Oh, sorry. That is not what we were talking about. How are you? uh, Yeah, fine, fine. I've been been on holiday, guys, for the first time in a while. Don't like didn't go anywhere international stayed on home chores <laughs> yeah but you still went on holiday you went on a staycation it's not even a staycation if you leave your city I don't think that's what it's called I think it's still just a holiday yeah it's a little holiday to the Kentish coast um and it was nice real. it was nice I went in to the sea the, yeah went swimming in the sea people thought I was mad because it's October <laughs> Little did they know you were living life, honey. I was living my best <laughs> life. Little did they know I'm cold on the inside. I absolutely love what you're wearing. Is it from Lazy O? Yes. Oh my God, I love it. It's so cute. To those that can't see, it's a pink jumper knitted with red hearts. Mm-hmm. And I immediately want to sing a song that's called Black Heart. Is there any song about red hearts? No one really says that, do they? <laughs> no oh fuck it I'm sure we'll think of one well we'll make one um yeah <laughs> but that that's about it nothing really to report just a really nice time on holiday and it was kind of quite difficult to come back to London yeah come back, come back to work oh my god yeah and now Aww. I just can't wait for my next holiday don't worry I'm working really hard to make my life as a creative honestly we haven't got long left I'm gonna need yeah. you full time I'm sorry to say <laughs> I have no intention of going anywhere without you. You're going to have to quit your job. I'm sorry. A what? A holiday? Or... No, like what? when we just... when we take this show on the road. Like oh, I was thinking about yeah. that the other day. I was like, I'm absolutely not going to myself. On the road? Yeah, I was thinking like, what if my friends are like, I've, I've got a whole life. Mango can come. We just need to do it. How... Yeah, but that's why I've got... Um... That's why I do contracts specifically for this reason. So yeah. I can take a break between. Yeah. Not for anything else, but because I'm, you know, I'm gearing myself up for you going on the road and me being there. Of course. <laughs> the secret will manifest. <laughs> <laughs> I can, I feel like um, I should probably address that I've got a, a bit of a cold. Uh, I don't think it's COVID. It's just Aww. that horrible cold that's been going around. And that's why I can hear myself. I sound very nasal, very stuffy. So apologies. Oh my God. Is it the one that is just like 90% mucus? Yeah. So yeah. I think I had that. Or is that just all colds? I don't know anymore. I can't remember. But the one I had well, was I just don't... Who remembers colds before COVID? No idea. Anyway, that's that. So should we get into, uh, let's get into Squid Game. Oh, I just quickly want to say two stories because oh, last week sorry. we were talking about Sarah Everard and mm-hmm. we didn't meant we were talking about by, by the time the episode came out, it was what we said was like semi wrong because um, a Metropolitan Police officer who was in the same unit as PC Wayne Cousins was arrested. So he was charged with the rape of a woman in September last year. Yeah, his name is PC, which is such a weird thing to call someone, David Carrick, and he's 46. Yeah. And another thing I just wanted to mention, because I saw it tonight and I just thought this is hilarious, which you're like, you guys know what day we're recording, but whatever. Former health secretary Matt Hancock has been given United Nations role. What? (laughs) I swear to God. (laughs) Yes. No, it gets worse, right? (sighs) As a special representative, the job would focus on helping Africa's economy recover from COVID. What does Matt Hancock know about? He ruined <laughs> our economy because of COVID. No. Oh, my God. Who has I, given him this job? Who has given him this job? 
it's just weird because like I know the UN isn't perfect but I didn't realize you could I knew I know you can like bribe your way into like a JP Morgan or whatever or JP Morgan or whatever but I didn't think the, the UN would be so foul as to take Matt Hancock who has proven himself to be not only incompetent but corrupt and why Africa why do English people always want to unleash their nonsense on Africa like you've already ruined your own economy and now you want to ruin somebody and it's like what is he gonna how is he gonna help what does he know why is a white English person the person who's even appointed for this job it's a load of shit and the UN you with one single appointment you've literally oh my god accelerations oh my god accelerations of vaccine that has led to the uk move it's basically because the uk have had accelerated vaccines apparently but that doesn't make sense because the uk have had accelerated vaccines because the uk has the money to just buy a load of vaccines that doesn't mean that you're a you're competent at your job that's not what the job is yeah and also the means with which to actually administer a wide-scale vaccination program. This is so embarrassing. What the fuck? Matt Hancock, he should be fucking ashamed of himself. Imagine taking, <laughs> like, if, of course, why would he be? He doesn't give a heck. The funniest part of this article is the linked articles, of the headlines are, did Matt Hancock break the law? <laughs> Matt Hancock, High profile former health media secretary. Oh no, this is not good. I just can't believe he got that job. And after that, like, I just, I don't, when it comes to like jobs and like anybody who has imposter syndrome and all that shit, like, honestly, get over it. Get over yourself. <laughs> yeah, imposter who? <laughs> the only reason you have imposter syndrome is because you're not a white in English man. And What's that's it, why you the think opposite you of be imposter there. syndrome? is colonizer Matt Hancock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god the fact that he was so bad at his job openly and without any shame and now he works for the un they've really shown their ass there they've just lost oh, great when everyone starts voting us out the un i'm not, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> yeah fine <laughs> Oh, good lord. Yeah, I thought that one might, might make you laugh. Might tickle me in all the wrong places. <laughs> right, that's like being tickled with one of those things that you use to poke coal in a fire. <laughs> <laughs> or a taser. <laughs> Don't tickle me with a taser. Oh my gosh. Well, it is the English way. <laughs> the Met Police love a taser. Love a taser. Oh my god. There's a time in a place for a tickle with a taser in. <laughs> this isn't it it's probably what Mike Hancock does with his other mistresses <laughs> oh my god oh what the fuck he's okay. gonna eat so much pussy in the UN I can see it now <laughs> I can't who did he have to fuck to get that job <laughs> like probably no one Oh, really? I think that's definitely a screams affair. Oh, my God. There's the other thing that we, oh, I need to, sorry, we're, we're getting totally off topic. But this is, you know, in relation to things that we've spoken about. Can you believe? Well, yeah, I, we can believe that <laughs> um, the Metropolitan Police have decided to drop their Prince Andrew inquiry. Yes. <laughs> And this what is the, the fuck? second yeah. or third time. <laughs> yeah, just like, no, nope. you know what? We're not reversing our decision to yeah. have no part in this. What the fuck? <sighs> Listen, the police have one job and it is not to uphold the law. Let me tell you that. <laughs> yeah, well, it's certainly not to take down the monarchy. <laughs> No, <laughs> not their job. Sorry. Excuse Sorry me for, for expecting justice to be done. Sorry. It's just every time someone prints the story, they show the picture of him and the alleged victim while she's underage. And it's yeah. just like, but look at this picture. It's just he's she's underage. He this shouldn't have happened. How could yeah. how is this okay? And it's also the fact that. Okay, maybe 
anyway, from a rule of law perspective, maybe I'm being messy, but I obviously just because someone generally like doesn't engage doesn't necessarily mean they're guilty. But my problem with this is, as we've mentioned on this podcast before, when this whole thing started and he was asked by the FBI to come in voluntarily or whatever, he wasn't being charged with anything. And he's just taken this like wall of silence approach. And it's just like, what the fuck else were you doing then? Because surely if you, he was like, oh, I didn't know. So if you didn't know, wouldn't you go and... You'd want to be helpful because you would want to be like, oh shit, a load of women and children were like tortured. You would yeah. want to like help to put that person down instead of be like... And even if you were like... He's yeah. my friend, and but I didn't do it. So I don't really want to be involved. Or you would at least want to, like, from, from a, given his position from that picture, you would definitely want to clear your name. Yeah, put some distance. But then, I, I but, but he didn't need to. That's the thing. He didn't need to because oh! he always knew. <laughs> but now we all think be that what, what the F is he been, what is, what is this man been running around and doing? What other mess has he been doing? What have they all been doing? Yeah. And it's, I mean, who killed Jeffrey Epstein? I don't mean physically, I mean, who who did the order? Je- Jeffrey, yeah. I'm sorry, but this this comes back to the Queen. Maybe not I mean, the Queen, but... No, but they've tried, they've tried to put a body on the Queen before and she wasn't having it, so... <laughs> who? Was, yeah, yeah, Diane, yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry. Rest in peace that if one. not okay I'm not saying it's obviously her but it, it's the crown I that's the thing I would have never again I wouldn't have suspected them because there Me were neither, so many other now, shady men that I would have thought oh it could have been so many people they probably all got together and made it happen I immediately just thought Trump because obviously he's in the American judicial system and mm. it's really not that hard to get someone killed in prison yeah and he was a sitting president so obviously he'd want that sorted out but then all of this makes me think, what the, f- who else is, anyway. Uh, yeah. Messy, 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 messy. And it's not going to go away, even if it might not be today, but even if it's in 10 years, it's never going to go away. It's there. Like the, the Catholic Church. Oh! That, <laughs> that no, but the, the, what they, the evil they've done in the world is beyond moving yeah. I didn't know this until last week when I was listening to a podcast, uh, which is like a comedy podcast about the news, but it's still a comedy podcast. But the um, priests, when they were found to have um, sexu- well molested children, they were moved to another country. Yeah, that's the that's the ticket, isn't it? I didn't know that. I, I, I like, didn't know that, but it doesn't. I guess it doesn't surprise me. But it's just nuts. I just don't understand why you wouldn't want to. Obviously, stamp that out. Yeah, like, why would you not want to break a chain of abuse? Why would you not want to break a cycle of abuse? Even if you, even if you're uh, some, you're some weird person who's like, I'm not going to tell anybody this is going on. We must protect the church. Why would you just not, at the very least, want the abuse to stop? But then the whole, it's just like the, it would just the church out. is yeah. built on abuse. Like when I've read about what they used to do to pregnant Irish women I was like what Mm. the fuck man forced labor beatings anyway moving on the catholic way um feels like the uh the European way there's yeah a lot of doom and gloom then for that intro which I guess which is perfect (laughs) goes quite well with uh with squid game yeah, which child squid game. I'm going to call Jesus it Squid Games, Christ. by the way. It's the Squid Games. I just, I'm going to call it, I'm going to incorrectly call it Squid Games. I'm just warning you now. Okay, like, that's, fine. I can't help it. It's hard Understood. for me to remember. Thank you, friends. Um, <laughs> I don't know if our listeners are as kind. Um, oh, <laughs> all 10 of them will be up in our <laughs> <laughs> Up in our DMs. It's Squid Game, you dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid bitch. <laughs> Leave me alone. Oh, um, right. Okay. So <clears throat> we're going to go episode by episode because that's yeah. a logical way. Yeah. Um, okay. First things first, before we get into it, how do you yeah. feel? Did you like it? Um, 
what is this for like an hour? <laughs> it's I, I didn't not like it. Um, I, I thought it was very so. Also, let me I because I was on a bit of a time crunch. Like I, I finished it it literally in sixty uh, no thirty six hours so that um, we could record this. Um, and it was my pleasure to do that. I I did enjoy it. It was e- quote unquote easy to watch because it's very. Um, I want to say like you know it's well written and well acted however uh, I did watch it in with the English dubbing because I just knew that I needed to get through it and doing it in the yeah, original yeah. Korean with the subtitles I just wouldn't I wouldn't have concentrated Attention enough yeah, yeah exactly but I just all the way through kept thinking I know that this would have been better had I been listening to the original Korean um voice out you I, I did both I listened to some in with the dub and some with the subtitles because I wanted because the um the, the dub actually for me automatically started and yeah, then I got in a few episodes in and I was like oh I wonder what the voices yeah. are really like so I checked and it definitely changed the dynamic but yeah. this series because in some Netflix series um the dub and the subtitles don't match it's two different translations oh. but in this series there is ex- exactly the same so the things that people were saying were lost in translation because it made me laugh because there was people on um, twitter who were like oh you don't really get a sense of the show and i get that I, the, the voice of an actor obviously their expression carries yeah. a lot of weight and the dub is it's, i don't know why they always pick more enthusiastic people to do yeah voice it just it didn't really fit with the I, I think it maybe made it a bit more jovial yeah, for sure. Than it, than it was intended. But not much. It's yeah. probably a much better a dub than I've seen in the past, but maybe because I only see dubs on anime, and the dubs on anime are just like, okay, calm down. <laughs> like, what is this? <laughs> um, so in that, so like, I felt like the um, acting was great, but the voice acting maybe was a bit a bit ham. Only for um, some for some characters. Some characters, the voice acting was pretty much the same but I feel like for the main character his voice is very different and mm. his expression wasn't that different to be honest but his voice was very mm. different and it always changes the tone yeah and um the character who I can't remember who uh 212 yeah so no shade but the the woman who was supposed to be like the crazy woman yeah yeah, yeah. she um her voice was so worlds away and it definitely changed her tone the oh my god also the actress who played her just yeah she was good amazing amazing so I in I I thought it was good but obviously it is quite um for for as brutal as it was and how as gory as it was I'm surprised that I like did like take pleasure yeah because I'm usually not like sometimes with like gratuitous um gore and violent I don't think it was gratuitously gory actually but sometimes I'm I'm like death yeah but yeah I'm just like this is too much and like it was obviously it's quite um hostily yeah um and I just I hated hostile I don't know why I watched them all at the cinema I would never watch Um, that awful absolutely fucking awful we have to start talking about I'm like Um, immediately like oh my god the window's open is someone gonna come in here and kill me (laughs) Um, but the, I guess, yeah, the story and the, the acting, I, I thought it was, it was good. So how about you? What did you think? I really, really enjoyed it. I would say I was, uh, episode four when I was like, okay, they're dealing with so much because obviously like the premise isn't that crazy. There's lots of like these kind of like films. So I still never yeah, seen totally. Battle Royale, but like this kind of like battle to the death. Yeah. Which uh, is why it was surprising that it actually was so uh like compelling because yeah. there are many things of the same variation, but they managed yeah. to do it in a way that felt authentic and, and different. Yeah. And you pulled yeah, pulled you in and sucked you into the story and made you like and also like I, it, it felt a bit and I mean this in a good way because you know I, I do love a good comic. It felt like a bit of a comic strip in the way that the characters were built. I enjoyed them. Mm. I, I I love it when you're watching something on TV and it feels like 
the kind of book that you would study in English literature where you can actually explore themes within the characters so clearly. Yeah, I love yeah, that yeah, shit. Yeah. I'm like, oh my God, I can, I can just think. <laughs> we could have, we, by the way, we're not going to do that. Oh, this is the uh, yes, podcast we are. for this. Yeah, but it won't be in like that. I know, it'll be like good, that. but it'll be, it'll be done. <laughs> you put, yeah, poorly in not yeah. a way that's co- coherent and consistent. And We'll see about but, that. But yeah. Not, not in a way that maybe you'd do in like a a book club. Book club. It, yeah, book club. yeah, but who? what book. kind of book club are you going to that's actually a book club? It's just drinking wine, isn't it? Just I drinking wine and book gossiping. Club with people. I say this, I've said this to so many people and it never happens. No, but you we don't even meet I, up to, to, to drink wine. Oh my god, no, I would never make a book club because it would just fall through. I would join like an official book club. Oh god, no, I don't want to. <laughs> That's the only way you get it done. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Because um, they'll actually care. I, I suppose, but I just feel like I wouldn't I I I'd feel too pressured to have a uh you know a good opinion, uh, an authentic opinion on something. Love all opinions. my opinions are secondhand and probably plagiarized i will give my only authentic opinion on this okay and i'll do it quickly because i think we should go episode by episode the character of ali everyone Mm. okay i was basically i saw this meme yesterday that was saying like oh this is why you should never be too nice because people take advantage of you right and i felt that everyone who had liked that meme needs therapy immediately first of all and i he wasn't too nice he was naive and there's a huge difference and he was manipulated there's also a huge difference i hate when people suggest that you're being manipulated because you're being nice and nice is and it's therefore your fault yeah a bit meaner and maybe people won't walk all over you he was in another country didn't really fully understand the language and didn't know the games but that that to me i do feel like uh maybe i'm doing too much as always but i felt like his character was a bit of a stereotype of like the docile immigrant and I didn't 100% get behind that felt borderline racist to me but that's just me I think yeah he it was uh he was definitely used as a um storytelling yeah tool as a kind of a device they all were though because like I think that they're um like you were saying how the there are so clearly defined themes everybody's yeah. characteristics were really blown up in a particular to demonstrate a particular but his point, had feel. his had no uh shock value at the end of it he was given the least step yeah yeah he wasn't really afforded as much as the other no. characters and maybe and i feel like if they just flushed out a bit it could have worked but as it was it was just a bit of a stereotype to me and i just wasn't 100 with it and that i do that stereotype couldn't cross borders like the whole idea of being a docile immigrant it's not even necessarily based in like a uh, race like it's like in england when it's like if they were showing like a polish person oh he doesn't really speak the language and it's but just like, there was also uh, the, the um the, the the bowing and the deferring to authority which you might associate with with like as early stereotype yeah I, I was thinking of like early um americans not early but like um older american cinema like 50s to 70s mm. when they would have that like or even here like 40 towers manuel that character of like yeah, yeah, you know yeah. What i mean like oh he's an, he's the dumb immigrant kind of thing like we get it and i'm not saying that because of the way he was written i'm just saying because the character likes it and because and there were just moments where it was just a bit, it was just too on the nose for me. I don't know. I just felt like it was a bit stereotypical, but whatever. Mm. Everyone else loved him and thought it was all so sweet. Fucking Caucasians. Anyway. <laughs> um, okay, so episode one. Episode one. The slapping party. Uh. So in episode one, we learn that the uh, main character is a broke bitch. <laughs> Real <laughs> he's in debt honey it's his daughter's birthday and he has he a gambling problem oh and he has a streak of bad luck as well yeah what we don't know at this point is that he has um in his uh former workplace uh witnessed kind of he's basically has ptsd from a um a strike that turned violent that then the media 
um, portrayed the workers to be the bad guys and he watched um, a friend or a person or a colleague um, die and I guess yeah never never really recovered from that um, lost his job had to become a chauffeur but didn't really make much money um, and everybody just thought it was a bit of a layabout yeah I just meant because you got robbed in the first episode <laughs> But yeah, they do set him up to be like yeah. an unlucky character. You can tell he's an unlucky guy. Yeah. And um, he has like failed businesses. So straight away they get you onto this whole idea that this is kind of about the failings of capitalism and how like this, because they teach you, don't they? If you become an entrepreneur and if you just go out there, you get your business loan and you do that. All the characters, in no, not all of them, but the two main characters, I would say, they've in some ways done the quote-unquote right thing and they've still ended up in loads of debt, feeling like failures. Like what? I can't remember his name. The second. Wait, Sung Woo? Yeah, because he's He gone embezzled. To... Yeah, but he doesn't say why. He doesn't <laughs> tell you why. No, I'm being serious because... Um, like he went to the right school, he had the right education, he was in this position. I can't remember why he embezzled that money. He couldn't have just uh, yeah, been Yeah, I, I think, yeah, maybe he was just trying to, or maybe he made one bad small decision that had lost a bit of money and then just tried to, for a client, and then just kept trying to fix it and then embezzled money and um, bet on futures and everything just went fucking wrong. Yeah well he's in a shitload of debt and he's obviously set up as the like good on paper but evil in real life guy like the opposite yeah. of the main character but that the game would you play the game i would no play the game fucking way i'd definitely play that game knowing that you could die oh no i don't mean like i mean the game in episode one i think it's episode one or is it episode two sorry oh, i'm trying the, to distract the one where they um they throw you. down that yeah yeah, yeah. And you would, if you lost, you wouldn't mind getting a slap. Yeah. Right. And then is that supposed to also be a metaphor about money and the way our uh, financial system works? Like you kind of keep gambling and you're getting more and more and more and more into debt, but you just know that you need to catch one lick and you'll be, you'll win something. And then before you know it, you forget the aim of the game is to actually make money. You're just, you just because do you remember by the end, by the time he wins, he can't even, uh, he forgot that he gets money at the end. He's just oh, so he sucked it. into this game, but he just wants to win. No, not, no, he, he, when he won, he thought that he, that was his opportunity slap to the other, the other guy because he'd just been beaten around so much that he was yeah, like, yeah, but he I'm didn't even get that. And he'd, he'd, at that point, he'd actually forgotten that he was going to get money out of it, which was the point. And you'd think that, yeah. he'd be like, yay, I won some money now. Um, would I play the game? Yeah, probably. I'd probably play that game if it was just a slap. Because you don't know it's a slap at the beginning. I would have played the game and I would have definitely lost the game. And then I'd have been like, fuck, now I have to play until I win because I don't have the money. Yeah. And also, you know, ego. But it's like when you play the lottery. You just they you keep like when going you, when you use your credit card and when you get like a tiny little like bump of a two pound win on the euros you're like oh well I'll just reinvest that oh my god it's like making music you just keep sinking more money into it and you the when you make money out of it the money you make you get so excited but compared to the money that you've spent over the years well you, yeah it doesn't like, even it's touch. not a profit <laughs> yeah, that it's minuscule but it just keeps you going like this yeah. idea that eventually I just feel like that's life and you just get told like in the way that our society works eventually everything pays off but that's a lie it's not true so why we need free healthcare, free housing, and free food? There are no guarantees in life. Yeah. Um, mm -mm. Okay. So our um, our guy is uh, playing this slaps game. Oh, we're gonna have to rattle through this quickly. Yeah, I was thinking we we'll never get through. I don't think. To be honest, guys, we don't need to give you the fucking synopsis because no, we'll just either watch it. You know it, it. Yeah. yeah. If you haven't um, watched it, you shouldn't listen to this episode because it will just ruin it anyway. So a couple of things that I wrote down I can't I don't remember who said it but it it kind of made me laugh but was also annoying when um oh yeah I think it was when um the the main main character um 
four, five, six says to the old man. So yeah, like, oh, why, why are you doing here? You should like be at home and let your daughter-in-law cook your food for you. And it was just really that, I don't know why it made me, Yes, you do. Um, no, as in, like, I don't know if <laughs> why. For some reason, it was the daughter-in-law bit that got me. And if it just been let like, your daughter cook for you, I would have obviously been like, well, it's a you know patriarchal society, whatever, whatever. And I know that that's what they're still trying to portray. But it's just it's that daughter-in-law part where it's like underpinning that your value as a woman is really only attached to how you can person help you marry not even that like no, I thought it was more like your life then also doesn't become your own it becomes not even your family's it becomes your husband's family but that's like it's like a wife traditionally it's free labor isn't it that's your job yeah. so it's like you marry so that you've got an extra pair of hands you're basically it's that you're the help the wife is the help yeah so it kind of I think made perfect sense and in our cultures it's quite I've seen it like I've seen like I'm not going to name names but I've seen family members do that to their daughter-in-laws like it's like well you have like yeah yeah, totally in India it's that's just that's what what you do you the daughter moves in with the the son's family and then they just make her do everything there is a a health minister in um uh, for one of the states in India who's like (laughs) gave this speech basically saying that um Indian women are being westernized they don't want to have like kids anymore they're talking about having surrogates you know they don't even want to be pregnant they don't want their parents living with them let alone grandparents um it's like got everybody up in arms but the thing is when people say so they're like kind of pissing me off it's not just your parents or uh, grandparents and family members living with you you've got to understand that when these people live with you you become their slave they're not reasonable yeah. in their demands at all why would you invite that into your home you make they make it sound like they're just like, like they really feel like it's your duty as a woman to take care of everyone and it's just crazy like it's I don't think people realize how bad it is that's why when that time that Anthony Joshua said that thing about raising uh women a lot of people have said stuff like that but he's probably stuck out to me the most because he's British Nigerian. And like the way the difference between the way you he was raising his he well, obviously he's not raising these children, but he was just making a comment and he probably didn't even think about it. It's just second nature because that's the culture he grew up in. Mm. Um he's raising his daughter, no, his niece, to like look after the home because that's like a woman's job. Mm. And it's just like, I don't think people really realise or understand how bad it is, like how many hours as a woman you spend cleaning up after other people yeah. and doing serving. things for other people yeah. and serving. Like when you wake up, you don't actually know how much of your day is going to be spent being told to do things. It's mm. crazy. And it's like, I've even had it in jobs. That's like, that's, I'm going to call her by name because it pissed me off so much. I was on the phone doing my job when I worked at that tech company. This was my line manager, Virginia. She comes over to me. I'm on the phone. Can you imagine doing my literal job talking to a client? She's shouting at me. I need to go to the store and buy a mom. And it's just like... It's not funny. It is funny because it's so ridiculous. And I'm just like, are you actually meant? Are you a mental person? It's just... This is the kind of behaviour I'm just like... It's just everywhere you go. And it's just, honestly, sometimes it just makes me not want to see anybody or speak to anybody. Because I just can't be fucked to do all... But it ha- and, and then on the flip side, it has made me a very organised person in a way that I didn't even know until this year how organised I was, how I'm able to put things together. Because I'm just... Yeah. And I would say that I am not a hard-working, like, homebody. So for me to be complaining about it, how much worse is it for somebody who actually, like, does everything? Do you know what I mean? Mm, yeah. Oh, sorry, it's made me yeah, so angry. I wonder if you know people that really enjoy doing all that. Like, do you enjoy it, or were you conditioned? The thing is, I I'm not gonna lie. I do enjoy cleaning sometimes. Sometimes, but all the time. I wish Never. I did. I wish I was somebody that would always put something back in its proper place. If something was out of place, I would I would put it back. It, everything has its place, and 
but I'm just not so let's yeah I'd say I would describe myself in my personal spaces mm. as messy like in a room I would say I was messy but I mm. do enjoy like a good clean a good dust just because it's like it's it can be pleasurable I just hate having my time taken away from me I get really angry and it's so funny that people don't understand where that anger comes from but they don't sound they're like the fifth person in that day to do that to you. Yeah. Like you you can't get anything fucking done. My rant is over. This isn't about me. This is about Squid Games. Look how triggered I was. What are we talking squid, about? Squid Games. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. Squid sorry. Game, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to call it one. <laughs> um, yeah. So we're on uh, episode, episode one. So uh, one of. I think one thing I wrote, which is yeah. funny, oh, I mean, okay. given yeah. what we just spoke about, um, about how you know annoyed we were about women sleeping in the home. Uh, I'm going to move on to how much I like the interior of that the room, the bathroom. Going. Yes, I like gorgeous, the but the, and uh, bringing that color palette through into the the room. Bit as they're going into with all the stairs and the yes and no, do you know it really looks like what is that place? Uh, we went to on oh my god, you know, that place where we went. Uh, me, I shouldn't, I'm trying not to name people, but where we were, yes, going, yes, yes, in I, Spain. It, I yeah. think it's, I genuinely <laughs> think it's based on that, and I'm not just saying that, I genuinely think it is, oh, yeah, maybe. Um, because it's like a it's a really famous building, but I don't know what it's called, shock. I'm trying to find it because everyone should go there's another one opposite that's green that is it's by some italian architect who has apparently done quite a few bit it's called i'm going to say it wrong morala roger uh, m u r a l l a morala morala mariah 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 um Roja. No, yes, Roja for sure. Say it all in one. Um, wait, I need to see it written down. Okay, I'll send it to you while we're talking about other stuff. But I do genuinely think that it's kind of based on that. But then again, like this is in Europe, so maybe it was stolen from somewhere else. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, while you said no, I that, definitely think it is. I have to say, so the first game is set in um, what it, it essentially what is a cleared out. Um, cornfield nothing good happens in a fucking cornfield <laughs> nothing good. as soon as you open out into that i was like this no this is bad news a cornfield oh my god i forgot yeah that's when people that's when i was just like this is a lot of blood that scene was because i don't really enjoy violence like and i i don't also want to normalize it in my mind even when i'm watching animations i don't <laughs> want to watch people die <laughs> no i hate it so much dying so bloody it was a lot of death i yeah. had to like just close my eyes and stuff like that because it was just like i don't want to watch all these people i know it's not real and i get it's supposed to look um what do you, what do you call it when de- there's almost like a beauty in the death like it's part of the aesthetic the blood but i i'm not with it it's not for me yeah not no, Can I like it. no thank you Mm-mm. and it you just you knew obviously what what was then to come it, and how many did how many new and novel ways can people really die sorry I'm only smiling because you remember that conversation we were having about um what's your favorite um childhood game yes and I didn't immediately think of that when it first came on and they were yeah doing playing the squid game um, I thought I think I'd already her. watched it by then. So <laughs> I wonder what uh, <laughs> I wonder what kink that uh, that says. I mean the the honeycomb. What's the honeycomb? You know the honeycomb game. And mm. sorry, I'm skipping to episode two. No, do it. Let's to, just keep going. Where they had to cut out the um, shape. Oh my god! (laughs) When they all started licking. The The funny thing is, I actually really enjoy licking stuff like that. (laughs) I do because it kind of melts really slowly, and then it's like it cuts your tongue a little bit. Do you know what I mean? I I definitely know what you mean. But it's interesting to see the different as everybody started cottoning on to this uh, this new technique. How different people were doing it, either taking long strokes or doing like the little. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, oh, and, yeah I guess 
I just think I wonder what um what I would have done I guess you just you just do what well, you're on a time crunch right so yeah no to get my tongue wet as possible yeah. I would have to like sink it yeah I'd have to like full press my tongue sorry yeah, I think that would be <laughs> to those who aren't uh, watching the video uh, I don't know why I'm <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> I don't know yeah maybe I don't think I would um god sorry I don't even know why I'm saying this I probably wouldn't do like a real tongue in and out action I probably to maximize efficiency would just stick my tongue out and then I'd move the but then if you don't keep putting your tongue back in your mouth you can't get fresh saliva anywhere. yeah but okay so <laughs> it's like uh and then you put it back in and then you put it back out but oh, otherwise it's like, like, uh, uh, you go, uh, and like yeah 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 gag and the saliva oh that would probably work it would be disgusting though so netflix couldn't show that no sorry you couldn't <laughs> properly goz all over it because then the whole thing would disintegrate I didn't think about that. Get a ah, in the head. Actually, let's be honest. I am going to die. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. Like, that's why I would never do it. Well, when yeah. they all decided to leave, I don't think I would have gone back. I mean, it's hard to say because you really don't know what you'd do unless you were in that amount of yeah. crippling debt. But yeah. I want... Not- I honestly, the first time I, I'm not going to say it's the first time I had suicidal thoughts, but it's the first time I really wanted to follow through was when I was failing at uni. I know I don't take like feel that feeling very well. Mm. So like, I think if I was in that much debt, I would probably be in that space anyway. So I, I do actually get it. It's like, it's to the point where I know it's not that they think they can win or is it? Like, oh, sorry to keep They've got them. nothing to lose. Yeah, they've got... So might as they, well give it a shot. Yeah, because they don't want to be here anyway. Some of them are literally suicidal anyway. So it's just like, if I'm going to die, if I, I die, I die as Nigeria. It's just so... <laughs> it's, the, it's the stress of it. And it's also the the dumb idea like you know how they say you're more likely to become homeless than you are to become a billionaire but everyone still is like I'm gonna be rich I'm gonna be really rich one day I'm gonna be really rich one day it's like some people will genuinely believe they have a chance so they would rather have a chance in there than have no chance on the outside and then the other but people are just like I just want to die in a mind. chance at what cost that's the thing I don't I couldn't take that cost don't have that of kind of self-belief life. I just don't believe, I think there's too much chance involved. Yeah, I w- exactly. I would never be that one in 456. So that's why it, it would just be too stressful. I, f- I feel like I was waiting around to die. You are. Well, I know, like, generally we all are, but in that... Oh, no, I didn't mean... Oh, my God! I meant in that show you literally are. That's why I feel yeah. like my hands, my hands would be shaking. And shaking all over the shop. <laughs> I would have broken it just because I couldn't stop shaking. But then again, you never know. Like it's also like that feeling when you think you can't do something and you do it is so exhilarating. Imagine if there was a threat of death. <laughs> no, that if you add the threat of death to anything like it imminent and the real threat of death not just yeah. like we're all living life and we could drop down at any moment it, it's not for me not like it's life too high but you don't even flinch on a roller coaster is it because oh. you know the probability of death is so low well i'm not yeah i'm not thinking that i'm gonna die i don't have a fear that i'm gonna die there's not an what about that alton towers accident yeah, but they didn't many, die though. No one, none rides, of them died. How many rides have there been in the history of Alton Towers and Thorpe Park? And you know, just yeah, but that's the that goes back to the probability of death being so low. Also, you like, forget that I grew up in Blackpool. A lot oh, of people really were hurt badly or died at the Pleasure Beach. The Pepsi Max used to be the wild, wild west. <laughs> that was my sister I think when she was young my sister lived on that ride like when we went she was just on it on it on it on it on it yeah. by herself I don't even know what it's called now I do think it's there's got to be something in your personality that makes you just like yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> oh my gosh so 
We skip episodes. Yeah. What was the we, next game? We spoke about honeycombs. Episode three. Oh. Oh, episode. That's also when we realized oh, sorry. that. Um... Episode three, I think, is um. No episode. Oh my god! Right. So, get the first game is uh green, green, red, green yeah. light, red light, red light, green light. That fucking doll thing. Yeah. Oh, annoying. Then the the Kinda second cute. episode is when they all go back to their lives because they've all voted or um they've all voted to <laughs> or the majority have voted to stop the games. Sorry, I just realised that's like literally Brexit. Like just. <laughs> <laughs> just clenched the vote yeah <laughs> so everybody leaves the games uh but then they get given a chance to go back into the games because when they realize that their lives are actually so shitty yeah and that's when the hottest police officer in the world cottons on i'm sorry but the police don't look like that they need to stop lying in these programs the police do not look like that <laughs> have you ever seen a hot policeman be honest not in real life. Me neither. I've seen a hot bin man. A lot of hot bin men. I've never seen a hot police officer. I don't think I've ever seen a hot fireman either. Not in real life. I've not really seen that many firemen in real life. I don't I've seen people go past in a fire truck. Never seen a hot one. That's just me. I'm just being honest. <laughs> and we love you for it. Um, so Does that policeman look like a model? Come on. I think he probably was a model. How could... As an actor, sorry, yeah, just annoys me. To, to yeah, just employ a model to, to play a police officer. It's ridiculous. It's doing us dirty. <gasps> Wait, I do think I have seen a hot police officer. I did. Yeah, I have. I have one. Mm -mm -mm, he was fine. <laughs> <laughs> Clothes off. No, no, I just remember, I remember it because I was in um, Clapton and I was like coming out of my house, walking down the road and I remember catching eyes with someone and then realising they're in a police car. I was oh, like, oh my God. <laughs> and in the front. Yeah, but. In the oh front God. seat, not the back seat. Um, oh, yeah. But, but I couldn't, yeah. In, what did annoy me is that in episode three where they get to the, um, the, the, the the what well, I don't know minions what whatever you'd call them they are the minions the, yeah, they're so cute <laughs> essentially <laughs> they um, should have, have taken the participants and they're they're getting on the uh, ferries the they would have seen the detective running from where he was hiding and getting underneath one of the cars <laughs> you're not telling me that he gets underneath a car and underneath a van and manages to hold onto that while it drives onto a fucking ferry without being about, detected i don't know about holding on but i do think that i've realized in real life people aren't really paying attention at work like i can imagine you can run and no one will see you think about it, you've got this hood thing on You've got a mask on. No, he didn't have a mask on at that time. No, I'm talking about the um the we should stop calling them the minions, but the pink minions. Yeah. They're like hooded up. Like even when I when I go oh, for a in, walk, you could, in oh, the they winter, wouldn't be able to see because it, yeah, okay. Fair. Not even that, like you just don't your when your peripheral vision is even slightly like hindered, even a tiny bit, you stop paying attention. Human yeah, beings are very simple. Okay. I just feel like there may be somebody on the there would be on the boat that would have been keeping an eye out because this is obviously quite a and also they're not it's like when you go to a festival and you i'm speaking from personal experience and maybe you had a dodgy pill and maybe you can't come back down to earth and then maybe you go and try and speak to somebody and you realize that everyone who works there is also on drugs it's like that those people in the pink things they're not like real security they're just random kids off the street who are probably also yeah. fucked it's you know what I mean? <laughs> Like, they're not trained to pay attention. But somebody, one of the square heads might have been. It just, yeah, but anyway, one person. Look, for anyway. whatever reason, <laughs> Let's do an experiment. the detective makes it onto the um onto the island. He like not only kills, makes it onto the island. <laughs> he fucking owns the island. But and he goes undetected for so long. But also there was, there are it. some there are quite a few storylines that just never went anywhere. Like the fact like that what? the detective was say said to um 
our main our main character our main guy yeah hey do you know anybody here called and I don't know if he used his own name yes he used his brother's name his but yeah to alert that he knew that and, and that just never like that never went anywhere but he didn't need to that was enough for what it didn't because it, it I don't feel like they showed enough that the guy was like oh wow I feel like there's I know somebody here like the police are here this is some there's going to be some kind of no but because like, he like, didn't what? know that he didn't know that the police were here first of all nobody knew that guy was in the police even when he spoke to that guy did he tell him he was a police officer I don't yeah, think he, he did. Oh. But I don't think the main character he's, he's actually like, I saw you at the police station. I okay. was I, I, I'm a so the, I didn't was... realise he was a police officer. I thought he was a civilian for ages. Okay. Yeah, maybe it was just me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean I was like, who's this hot civilian looking for his brother? <laughs> um but yeah, I don't think the main character re- it was You've got to remember there was loads of weird shit going on. Like, remember when the doctor was, like, hanging? There was just yeah. a lot going on very quickly. So it's just, like, they were harvesting organs. There's all sorts of shit going True. on. True. Uh, yeah, the, the fact that there was a, a secondary uh, organ harvesting and black market situation going on, that really... That made sense, though, because... That, it, that yeah, was a made... good addition. That was a good yeah, addition. It was. But, yeah, I suppose that was the... the um, the device by which our police officer friend got eventually got rumbled. That's why that had to happen. Oh no, I was just thinking it, it makes sense because that that is such a if we're talking about the dark things that happen surrounding money, yeah. that's like one of them. Even recently, I don't know if you saw last week, was it last week or this week, the man that was found? There was a missing man and then they found him and all of his organs were missing. Because Organ harvesting, I'm not saying it's not huge here. I'm just saying we don't hear about it as much in America. Organ harvesting yeah, is yeah, like yeah. a big thing. And Atlanta is like the human, well, it used to be a few years ago, the human trafficking capital of like the world. When people get trafficked, they all go to Atlanta airport. And then there's a huge thing about like black women who go missing mm-hmm. and like how it's most likely that their organs are going miss, uh, they're being uh, kidnapped. So their organs can be harvested, but it's not being investigated. And if you think that's in America where nothing gets done, and I know the judicial system is useless and the policing might be useless, but at least the, there is some sort of like information spread, like how much more in other countries does that happen? Mm. <sighs> mm. Good night and God bless. So I thought it was important that they included it, even though the guys that were doing it seemed dumb as hell and they showed. How did they get that doctor in there? Or did they just find out he was a doctor while he was in there? Or did they purposely look for a doctor? Like, I don't get that. Um, I think that the, the probability of a, a doctor being there was probably fairly high. So they but a just found him. And, and then again, if even if you were like... If somebody's, um, not to be cr- crass, but if somebody's dead, I don't think you need to be a surgeon to... To get oh, their it's... organs, their vital organs, in good condition. Yes, you're right. I don't think I could do. It. <laughs> yeah, but a doctor at least. A doctor oh yeah, 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 yeah. I don't mean yeah. just any old schlep. No, it, it, at least I am a not a schlep. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Um, think I, yeah. Even I guess someone who studied biology, and I'm not saying even as in like they're less than. I mean, if you've studied sciences that involve living bodies you've probably dissected things but still but still that seems like a tricky one I feel like you'd have to be a surgeon to do that yeah fair I guess um can we just quickly run through what the games were because I feel like I'm forgetting yeah so first one is uh red light green light yeah second one I can't I don't think the second one I don't know if it was the honeycomb it was and then because there was only like five games no, there were seven games, no? I think it was because that's when you realise, because that's the first game back when you realise that even though they said they're going to play in a team, Sang Woo is a prick. Yeah, that's so true. So I think it was. I feel like there was one in between, but maybe not. Okay, so you've got honey honeycombs. Um, and then the next one is... Uh, well, I can't remember what the next one is, but... Um, Oh, one second, I've got the list, it's just... 
Oh, you're right. You're right. The second one is no, this isn't in order. The second one was honeycombs. Honeycomb, and then it was um, tug of war. Oh God, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then it was the midnight fight. No, it was the midnight fight. Then it was tug of war. Yeah. Tug of that. I like the game tug of war sometimes, but shit, man. That was that was a stressful one. Um, and then there was what the marble game. Yeah. And then it was onto the seven stones. Oh yeah. And then that, it was on to, uh, and then Squid Game? Yeah, but by the time Squid Game's done, you're like, I am. <laughs> the, I am. <laughs> too much. Whatever it was, I don't have it. A roller coaster. Um, okay. Um, I have a, have a note here saying, in the fight, I'd hide. In the fight? Oh, that's, yeah. So when they were had the midnight fight yeah just stuff like i just don't think but why I, would I you just hide? Don't, I, uh, that's the thing there would be no in in that situation it's not like you could literally run and run and run and just find some corner because there's nothing it's just a fucking box room but just in these kind of things in general i just don't know if i have it in me to be like i'm gonna fucking stand and fight i think i would want to just I, I i think my flight instinct is I would definitely not want to fight because I just, again, it's like a probability thing. Like what are the chances of you being able to kill everybody? But yeah, as long as I'm in, I, I would join a gang, um, I would build a barrier. And then when it came to it, I would stab everyone, <laughs> honestly. I think I just would really want to try and like be- Hidden. H the yeah. old man hid, he essentially hid. But well, we'll get to that. Um, he did hide though at that point. Well, he did, but it didn't really matter. I don't think. No, I don't believe that that he couldn't have died. I've seen the, the idea that he couldn't have died or whatever. I don't believe it. I think when he hid, he really hid. And like they were saying in the red light, green light. If you look at it, his when he was scanned everyone else had a green light around them and he didn't but he did he's might not have been as strong but i think that was just accidental because of the graphics i don't think that was an intentional thing i really think at every stage he could have died well i suppose i guess that's what he was saying at the end that's why he went back because it was more fun to do that but then yeah. obviously in the marble thing he didn't die when he should have died so no 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 he didn't die then um uh, what I also wanted to know is, you know, with the doctor, how they were getting him the, um, they were telling him what the games were ahead of time. Yeah. How the fuck did they get the message in the egg? In that fucking boiled egg? Because it um, was shelled. It was shelled. The boiled egg was shelled. Okay. I, th I think you can poke a hole in an egg. You can, yeah. But then when you, like... It was right in the yolk. I think you can poke a hole in there. But the, if you did that, then the yolk would still, like the membrane of the yolk would still break and then it wouldn't like cook the way that it cooked. No, I think you, you do it after it's cooked. How? With a really thin sharp tool. Look at the things that, I've, that I'm fixating on. No, I want to know too. I mean, I think you're right, but it just felt a little bit too, I don't know. Um, when, so in the marble game, before, um, before we obviously know anything about the old man, firstly, did you have any suspicions about the old man? Not like that. Oh. I'd never, yeah. ever, ever thought he was, it, he was running the show. Not one yeah, second. Me either. I started to feel like the brother had joined around, I feel like it was around, episode, I want to say halfway through, just because like Star Wars always makes me feel like the good turn evil Yeah, now. but that for me also was a bit too convenient. That his brother had joined. I, I didn't understand. Was it I didn't think his been... brother... I didn't think his brother was that main character, but I thought the brother has definitely joined in his but, honor. But, but is it what? I thought the brother was going to turn out to be the person running the show. But had not he the old man. been 
he'd just gone missing what a few years ago or something or he not he wasn't part of that for that cohort of games that we were witnessing was he no 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 yeah so that's what I was confused about I thought that he was in the the game yeah no he'd been in a previous game and his brother never stopped searching for him Mm -hmm. yeah it just felt a bit too um convenient but whatever anyway so um in the marble game did you like what did you think about kind of the ethics of cheating uh, the old man Mm. I in that game you realize like in the game okay first of all I would say as a person I just as a human being watching it because you kind of imagine yourself in it while you're watching it it did get to a point where I thought leaving someone's fate up to chance like this is unfair and Uh, so for everything that they're saying that this is all based on like fairness and equality yeah I made a note about that probably some long ass note yeah it was in the um marble game this is where we're introduced to the idea of quote unquote equality. The game is an equal opportunities murderer slash employer. The idea in a nameless society where we all have the same chances because you know they're all numbered, but obviously they fucking don't. Not only does it show the delusion of self-appointed game masters, i.e., extremely wealthy people who somehow think that their wealth which they got from exploiting others allows them to make the rules that everybody else lives by. Mm-hmm. Like they, they, they think they know more because they have attained more wealth. It demonstrates that equality is a mythological capitalist concept. There is no fairness for everyone to have the same opportunity. There should be no competition and there should be equity. So as soon as you introduce the idea of a, a competition, mm-hmm. it's immediately unfair because you have to have some form of advantage to win a competition. And then if you're saying it's, um, but then when I realized the game was down to chance, I thought, oh, I said that because everyone's different. So like, for instance, some people aren't as strong as others. Some people like in games that require strength. And then there's a lot of luck as well and chance. Yeah. So, and then depending on who you go with, the probability of winning changes but I kind of got scamming in that situation I thought the main character can't go out like a punk this old man's gotta go sorry well we yeah we knew that though that he would make it the, the two women I didn't appreciate that that one really made me like I think I actually might have cried in that one because the two young women. Yeah, because it was just so fucking sad. Yeah. Yeah, that was sad. It was sad because it's just like they both had a shit time. And yeah, one of them's got to go. And I thought that the alley thing, I just thought like, why is he being so dumb? But then it's also like trusting. Why is he being so trusting? But it's also like it was a bit dumb. Or is it because I yeah, know that but that guy's a probably, prick? I think probably in that situation, you would have, he thought that he could trust that guy. But, but that's what he the, really should have thought was, why do, why does, why does this guy think that he can cheat the game? You can't cheat. But he, like, it, that's the thing he did at first. He was like, no, that's not going to happen. And then he started to just go with it. Like his first reaction was like, what are you talking about? And that's yeah, why that should have just been off. like, no, I'm... <laughs> I think they should have written that differently. I they I guess they had to do it so that he... I don't know. So I don't know, I just, but they should have made it in a, done it in a way which it was... I don't know. Because it I, maybe it's just hard for me to believe that anyone would trust somebody like that. <laughs> like, trust people. But I think it's not just the, the, um, the trusting. It's also that he... I don't think that he wanted to be responsible for directly for somebody's death. So if yeah. somebody's giving you a way out, that's like, hey, we oh, can both my survive God. and yes. you don't have to be responsible for the death of me, your friend, we can get through this. 
you don't have to then you don't have that blood on your hands you don't have to have that responsibility or that guilt and I that's part of it as well oh my god you just hit the nail on the head this is why we should have a book club <laughs> with wine. I love that. that is so true that is so true because I wouldn't be able to handle that none of them took being it the the except for the I don't know I want to call him like the brute because that's just like oh, yeah right. yeah like except for him no one really took dying that well and I'm sorry but if somebody was literally winning a game that was going to result in my death and they would be like gleeful about it do you know how pissed off I'd be yeah furious like that wasn't even even though that guy's a kind of I was like come on what was next was tug of war next or was that after no so no. Tug, of, tug of war was before I loved the tug of war episode it was exhil- exhilarating. That's the most I've ever been on yeah. edge. And when the people fell, I couldn't look. I was like, this is too It's hot, violent. yeah, the third in the group. Oh. Too um, violent. And I thought uh, them getting into God was like, I loved that. I loved that part. And I just felt like, the I loved that the guy praying was like um, so ungrateful for the work that had actually been done by the human beings that he could see in front of him. Yeah, it, you'd have thought that you'd be like, at that point, everybody would have been on their so knees. So grateful saying, and thankful. To, yeah. yeah, and it's like this guy is thanking God and still resentful and hateful towards the people who've literally just helped him get through. And I love that they got into that because it's just like, I feel like that's what a lot of religious people are like. It's like, you're it make your the way that you are is sour like it's not yeah it's not just not be good or nice on earth yeah you're oh, yeah not, just not for being the instruments of the hand of god even for that he wasn't even grateful for that he was just like kind of like taking it as like a matter of fact like you're just here whatever god wants to happen is what is happening like god's will is whatever's and then also him bringing God into it saying like him this idea that he's innocent was crazy to me it's like God does not this is not God's will that you join a game to win loads of money where everybody else dies like why would that be God's like it's just nuts and he's just like well I'm innocent <laughs> just when somebody does something really bad and it gets posted to a blog on Instagram their fans will say hashtag he's innocent it's usually a man but it's it's a joke. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> so anyway, no, he's innocent. Like he's not innocent. Um, yeah, uh, I thought that was I thought that was really good that they got into God. I, I can't remember what I was gonna say. I talked so much shit. So the show kind of lost it a little bit for me. Um when and I don't know how what they I get that they had to do it, but I also think, did they? Um, bring in the VIPs, because that's when you realise that this is actually all just a game and it's all just a load of fucking rich men betting on people's lives and not giving a shit and they're just fucking sick and this is just, it's like game to them. Um, and I don't know what I thought it all was. Be you like, thought it would have some sort it? of deeper meaning. Uh, not even, just that it would. I actually not even. I thought that the, the it was just you're you play this game and you win some money. I thought that yeah, yeah. that could have been as deep and meaningful as it got for yeah. me. It yeah. didn't need to have this like edge of um the hostile thing or like you know, the capitalist um people being so rich they lose interest in everything until they can start really fucking up with people's lives that just and I, I knocked a few points off of that okay fair it was a bit they did kind of ruin it a little bit and those guys were terrible acting and they were acting yeah. in english yeah but they were fucking awful they they kind of ruined really the Bible a little bit. yeah but then i liked that they looked like um Game of Thrones characters. Because, <laughs> like, I'm sick of people trying to make, like, old monarchs seem like heroes. What the fucking worst? Oh, my God. It just annoys me. Yeah. Anyway. 
Oh my God, for some reason I've written down this quote. I have no idea who says it. It's from the VIPs episode. Excuse me, do you mind if I go first instead? As long as I can remember, my life has felt like this thing I couldn't control. And I tried to act like I wasn't afraid, but I was. Oh, obviously that resonated with me. It was when the... um. That's the guy who picks number one. And yeah. Like, you <laughs> idiot. Go on and take control of your life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then Thank it also you. shows like the good luck of... Well... The, the luck changing of the main character yeah Mm-mm-mm. well his good luck continuing in those games because you know he did get lucky yeah do you think that i can't remember his name with the glasses who went to university uh song Wu. do you think he should have pushed that guy through <laughs> on the stepping stones game did he need to push that guy <laughs> and why is it is, if you look at how like they they all the last two made it onto the platform within like a fucking whisper whisker of time. So if he hadn't have done that, they wouldn't have made it. They wouldn't have like all crossed over in time. Yeah. So I'm not saying that he should have done it, but I'm just saying that the others needed to be a bit more like when they said, "Well, we 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 had time." You really fucking didn't. Even another second. Yeah, so it's like a necessary. Oh, uh, Ji Ji Hong, Ji Hong, Ji Hong, Ji Hong would be dead. He wouldn't have made it across. I thought that that was, but it it wasn't. I knew he was going to push him because that guy would. That guy had been a cunt from episode. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> from the honeycomb game, from the umbrella game. He fucking. That was okay. So some of his evil made sense. Some of his evil, I didn't understand. That one didn't make sense because he knew what the game was. Why are you trying to weed out your friends early on? There are so many other people and you don't know. Or is it everyone's competition? You might need them. That it was that everybody's competition, but surely at that, at that early stage of the game, you want to keep your friends close. But you, you can't have friends in a game like that. Yeah, but they needed friends when the midnight attack came. A hundred percent. But he also could have just joined a gang. He would have joined that horrible gang. I don't know that he would have. I Maybe he would have been and he would have fucking killed the the main guy. Yeah. No, I mean, if all of those guys had died in that game, imagine all the friends that he had had died in the first game. He would have just made new friends and kept oh maybe he would have died too i don't know but i i just yeah he that was a bit a bit harsh i thought and he was yeah. obviously a, a dick with the tug of war thing he didn't know that it was going to be tug of war but when they said you would need 10 10 thingy mates and they were like well we already have a, a girl and an old man we don't Is need it? we we just need big strong men now and I like, that was a really good demonstration of how, like, oh, my God, sorry, my ear, I've got allergies, I'm going crazy, I think that's dust. Listeners, I'm trying to scratch my ear through my headphone, which is over my head. Obviously, it's not working. Oh, my gosh. Uh, yeah, just showing that it's not all about, quote, unquote, brute strength and stuff. But you did know towards the end there was no women left. And also, I have mm. a feeling in that... At- I, this is just general, when people, okay, so people think that women are weaker, right? Mm-hmm. So, but then that means that they purposefully try and get rid of them. It's like a self-fulfilling prophecy because you're trying hardest to get rid of women because yeah. you think they're weaker. But it just doesn't you, make sense. It, wouldn't you want to get rid of the stronger contestant? in those in like a fight situation wouldn't it be made more sense it's, to get it's, yeah of course but it's like the the it's cowardly for one and it's also just, like yeah, it's a numbers game isn't it you need to get as many gone as possible and it's also just ingrained in you so ingrained in you that you're just like no they have to die <laughs> oh my god wow god this is just making me realize how shit being a woman is sometimes but speaking of heroines, we weren't speaking of heroines. The best character, arguably the best character, on at least top three, top five. Yeah. Um, I can't, 212, I'm just going to call her 212. So the woman who is like... Ingrid. 
Yeah, her Ingrid. Is that her name? No, no, I was saying I just called it Ingrid. Oh, I called it Ingrid. Was, I, was no, like, she, uh, <laughs> I was like, I was like, Ingrid. Um, uh, Minya. Okay. I'm still going to call her 212. And it's not to be shady, just because yeah. we were talking about uh, the song by uh, Zelia Vines 212 and how, if you think about how chaotic she was, like, it literally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Her death was the most was po- poetic perfection. moment. Yeah. yeah. It re- and I just feel like if you're going to, ha- that's the kind of depth of character I need to see because her character was, apparently it was a translation thing. Um, the yes. English translation yeah meant that you lost a lot of her character but the only example that I was given of that didn't seem like you lost much of her in my yeah. opinion but I don't speak Korean her not knowing not being smart or not being yeah not yeah I mean not being educated yeah yeah I feel yeah. that too um yeah because yeah you can tell she's a real hood bitch and I mean that was a compliment but um she i get it she's supposed to be the person who oh, no, oh let this be a lesson to all of you Mm-mm-mm. i'm talking to myself um <laughs> let this oh. be a lesson to all of me <laughs> <laughs> i'll be more specific when i'm describing it because otherwise you guys will just think i'm weird but um she obviously uh she gives into all the tropes like she believes like she's a, kind of like a self-hating woman she doesn't she's yeah. not sticking She's not sticking up or sticking with anyone because this everyone who survives, all the main characters survives the longest. He kind of like helps everyone, doesn't he? He's like a loyal person. Yeah. Like loyalty yeah. does pay in this situation, and even though you think kind heartedness. Yeah, yeah, like, like weakness. Yeah, because it's supposed to be about individuals. Indivi- I can't say it. You say it. Individualism. Yeah. yeah, but in the end, the winner, <laughs> who does in fact take all, <laughs> isn't. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know what to do. Do you I'm imagine if the avid just started playing when he was? I can't that would be I can see that 100 percent That would yeah. be so creepy. I would make really creepy music if we really want to get into it. That's kind I of don't, good. because I yeah. It is creepy. It is, but let's not get into it. It's not like, right now. Yeah, okay. That's sorry. I like Abba songs and but if you dissect them, then sometimes yeah. it's a bit weird. Anyway um what are you talking about oh yeah so she's like i'm still a woman she wants to stick with a man she wants to suck a dick to survive she wants he's promising her love men lie guys men lie he's promising her like telling her this dream he immediately fucks her off and treats her like she's nothing and she ends up surviving and taking him out but i knew she was gonna kill him i just didn't know how the way she killed him it was brutal beautifully done and yeah still scary well, I didn't even think it was like a sacrifice. So uh, it was. It wasn't a sacrifice. It wasn't sacrifice. Yeah, it was pure. You fucked me. I don't think it was vengeance. It. it was. I, think, I didn't think it was pure vengeance. It was like she just, in that moment, it was like she is just being like, oh, I don't know the word for it. I was going to say real, but that's just not a description. <laughs> just being so real she was being the realest bitch alive because it's just like she was making him she she was showing him the power that he is does that make sense yes yes it yeah it does and so yeah by doing by showing him what a coward he was she was taking like the kind of courageous step that he never yeah. could and would to be like well we're gonna fucking die and this is this is how it's gonna go he wouldn't take that step towards his own death so she was like i i the one that has the balls enough to do this imagine they lived <laughs> <laughs> they just clunked up. after that fall no but imagine like they don't Boing. fall <laughs> they just oh oh god yeah <laughs> <laughs> to, to wrestle. She would have been squashed. Yeah, but it was oh, that was beautiful. I haven't been that like whoa since I probably have been actually in um okay, let me say without anything animated, I haven't been that like because there's a few moments like that in um I'm not gonna don't be an average. I'll just say what I meant to say. How you've seen it, the only moment because I was super young when we watched it of crouching uh tiger hidden dragon oh, that yeah. i vividly remember is the end oh my god 
That yes. is one of the most powerful things I've ever Tears fucking seen in my days. life. I wasn't like crying. I was oh. my mind, I was blown away. I was like, I whoa. Was devastated after watching that. No, wait, sorry. Sorry, ignore me. Hmm? I'm thinking of House of Flying Daggers. Never seen it. <gasps> I've actually never seen um, Crouching Tide of a Hidden Dragon. We should add those both to the list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my Guys, God. get ready for the House worst reviews. Flying- <laughs> House of Flying Daggers. Amazing. It sounds sad I though. Cried so- it is sad. It's devastating. I okay, can't <laughs> I like a good cry. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Characters, hot as hell. Oh, Smoking, all of them. Yeah, I'm sick of these hot characters, though. It's just every time I see a hot person now, I'm just like, okay, now it's, I'm really sick. There were never this many hot people in a room. (laughs) I've never Um, been in a room with this many hot people. (laughs) Uh, Let's, um, let's skip, uh, let's skip to the end. When he dyes his hair? Yeah, (laughs) there was that, but also (laughs) the end in general. But I actually genuinely was going to talk about the hair dye. Do you think Um, he's a bad father? (laughs) So yes I actually don't <laughs> I'm sorry it's like at the end where he he was going to see his daughter just fucking let it go go and no. see your no. daughter no no don't go fucking back into the squid game why would he's you not, do that he's, but the thing is he's dyed his hair he's not going back to take part he's going back to fuck shit up oh because he dyed his hair no I get yes, that it's not like you, okay, you well, know full be, well like, for, <laughs> When you, you dye your, your hair, hair red, oh, you are true. on smoke. And that wasn't just like red, that was red, red. Yes. That was fire, that was phoenix. Yes, that was from the ashes being oh, reborn. Thank you. That was anime awesome. red. He was ready. That means he's becoming a hero. The way he turned around. True. Like he was Neo in the Matrix. Like, I also just wanted to be like, I, that was at one point where I actually did say, no. <laughs> No. You've had enough. I've, I've had enough. No, sir. You, you get on that plane. You get he on has that plane to end this game home. because the game isn't. Ju- now he really knows the game is just for people to. Uh, he's seen other people are going to die. They're gonna die. even if you win the game and you survive. The, yeah, you're he's, so he's messed just up on his own. He should spend that money though. For goodness' sake, that was business. Oh, me. true. Yeah, don't feel guilty. No, well, I mean like some of it away. Oh, well, he did buy a house, be miserable inside a house. It doesn't have to be a big fancy house. Just like be, buy a home. Do you know what I mean? Some, yeah, just don't. You're a bit of a mess. Okay, you know, sort yourself out. I did. I was <laughs> a bit upset that he um didn't. It took him a year to um rescue um Sombiuk's uh, uh, brother. Brother. Yeah. Like, I, get get I, your get, shit together, sir. Yeah, but you can't. He's got. He's so severely traumatized. His best friend died in front no, of I, him. But I, that's one of those things where I just feel like you'd come out of it and you're still like, there's so much adrenaline. That's like your what a one thing to be able to that you're yeah. at, and you do that and then you break down and then uh-uh. you let go. No way. I'm speaking to somebody who when I have something big to do in my life after I've done it, it literally takes every ounce out of me. It takes me a week to recover. I've really but for me, I think that it, that whole ordeal wouldn't have been complete until I'd done that one thing for somebody else. I think okay. I, I, I would have been, I, it would have been like, get out, do this. And then- okay, imagine it this way. You've just done the game, right? You've almost died so many times. And then it's me at the end. I've betrayed you. I then kill myself in front of you. You leave. All this blood is all over you. Not literally, but you're just like, you've just witnessed so much death. Your mum is dead on the floor. Oh, God forbid. I'm oh, so no, sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm just take it back. <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. But I'm just trying to hammer home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are, are yeah. you going looking for someone's brother or are you riding around with drunk on a train? No, I think I <laughs> I think I'd need to get the kid out and then I could just spend because then that I'd know that's it. I that's what I did yeah. my one thing. Now I don't need to think about anybody else. But you've just yeah. like he left that boy alone, not knowing. I don't, anything I'm not gonna judge him for that. Because... I'm not judging him for it. I'm saying yeah. me, I think that I would have <laughs> needed and then and then all bets are off. After that job's done, I'm fucking going off the rails. I would have turned to much harder drugs, but yeah, that's just my. Well, who knows what happened in the year that? Well, he didn't need to go through his hair out. 
But yeah, he's going to go and fuck you up. He's going to end this good game. Do you think the police officer's dead, or do you think no. he just? Because mm, he only so got far. shot in the um, in the arm, and I don't know if that was on purpose. I think it was. In, quite, I thought he quite... got shot in the heart. <laughs> oh, I thought he got shot in like the shoulder. I thought they were aiming for his chest. If you're lying, because uh, I, I just feel like it would have. He would. The, the guy would have shot him in the head. But then also you like land in a, in the sea if after you've been shot you might hit some rocks or a shark might come. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, yum. <laughs> Dinner. <laughs> you know the blood. It's just like, mm, I smell blood. Oh um, yeah. Must be like, okay, never mind. You won't enjoy that smell. Look. The smell of freshly cooked <laughs> Like, Although um, the sharks didn't eat the other guy that got killed, the crabs did get to him though. Oh, the guy got killed. The first. Um, oh, animal. that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's going to be dressed as them for Halloween. But I don't mind because that tracksuit is flames. Get it to me right now. <laughs> because the thing is, I've seen a tracksuit like that before. It was green velour. I can't remember what brand it was. Green velour, and it was a white thick strap down the center. Oh, it might have been, um, I'm probably wrong. What is that British, black Nigerian British designer? She's tiny, like a bird. Grace? I can't remember her name. <laughs> I like how you like Grace. Um, while you're looking that up, can I ask you a question? For Halloween, if you were going to go as one of the as a tracksuit, would you pick your own new number or would you pick one of the? I'm going as two one characters? two. Of course. I'm just just the okay. I'll say the way I can relate to her is I've definitely tried to give love and affection to a cold-hearted sociopath. <laughs> And I'm not saying, guys, I know I don't go into detail, so you're at home, so you probably just think I'm just juicing it up. I'm talking... No, for real. Like, the, basically that kind of guy from the show. Yeah. And it's like realising that they don't have the capacity or any intention to give you an inch back. And the, the switch that has flipped in my head... I didn't kill anybody though. So she didn't God. either though, did she? Apart she killed him. him. Yeah, but uh, come on, that's not the I wouldn't oh. say that she like killed him. That seems even though she did. Someone. She did. Well, she she took a hit for the team because that guy was a dick and he had it coming. He had it coming. <laughs> he only had himself to blame. Um that song is so real. I'm not into victim blaming, but all of those men did have it coming. I'm um, talking about Chicago, though. They weren't victims, were they? <laughs> they were victims of murder. <laughs> they were all killed. <laughs> um, well, yeah, you're right. Be that as it, as it may. <laughs> they were not the victims, okay? <laughs> No, um, but it's true. It's like the VIPs in Hunger Games, them dying. It's like, well, you're not exactly the victim. Not, yeah. The <laughs> like the guy, the fucking dis- disgusting predator that was trying to sexually harass uh, our good friend, uh, the policeman. Also, the naturalization of the gay predator. The stereotype. <laughs> only gay character. I'm sorry, I'm a pervert and I'm going to sexually assault you. <laughs> but that's the only way it could have happened because... Yeah. Yeah. He had it coming. He had it coming. <laughs> he had- I love that song. That song gets me so pumped. What's the rest of the words? <laughs> he only had himself to blame. If you'd have been there and you'd have seen it, I bet you you would have done the same. I don't know the monologue, sorry. <laughs> I don't know any of the monologue. <laughs> oh, they're so right. You're like, I would have done the same. Yeah. Only I had the guts and the wherewithal and the means. 
Thank God I wasn't there. I definitely have this. Oh, I've definitely thought if I could go back in time, if I was to relive that experience, my reaction would have been to get the lamp from the side of the room and smack that guy. (laughs) And I would have been in the background singing, he has me. (laughs) You'd have been helping me bury a body. (laughs) In a parking yeah. laptop. I wish that that was the first time you'd ever said that <laughs> sentence on this podcast. But it's not. Yeah. I would be that person. And yeah, I'd be like, oh God, shit, what do we do? <laughs> Why are you calling me? <laughs> oh my gosh. No, I don't think I would have called you because I wouldn't have wanted to implicate you. But there is. you. Don't say these things on podcasts. That's <laughs> the sentence ends. Yeah. Um, I'm grateful. If you um, been there. <laughs> so uh, when I when we were when I was watching, I was thinking because I know that it's been renewed for a, uh, another few seasons, I believe. Yeah. I just thought I don't know how much it won't it's, I've got in. It'll have to I want to see yeah. the evolution. I want to see what happens afterwards, but I do not need to see another round. As quick. it's not like so you, where, you know you have to see no, like, no, you won't. Saying, I don't need to see that the whole this thing is um again. this is his um hero origin story you won't see that again <laughs> are you sure 100 percent because because you've read something like that or you're just so sure that that no I've just seen enough anime to know yeah. that his hair has been dyed because obviously you could there are the it's a very visual show I'm being serious it's a very visual show you can tell the creator like is huge on aesthetics which yeah. probably means he grew up in the comic and manga world so when you dye your hair and you do a slow motion turn honey you're about to fuck shit up yeah or he's just had a he's all that moment Oh my god, guys, we're definitely watching that by the way. <laughs> Suddenly, like I changed my hair and I shaved my beard, and oh my god, my life has changed. I'm- oh my god, that's the only thing I wanted to say. The the sickest thing that that guy did, what's his name? Finance guy. So Song Wu. The slit. I don't know her name either. Uh, Song Bao. Yes, her throat. He didn't slit it. He just he jabbed it. He didn't even slit it. He jabbed. He just oh, stuck it there. That was that, really sad because she. And look, I'm not saying in fairness to him, but she would have died. She was going to die. They were not going to help her, but he, he didn't, didn't need, need to. Because that's that. when you really see that this guy is again doing unnecessary evil. He's un- yeah, unnecessary killing, and using the game as an excuse. It's like he no. What a horrible way to die. She had a hard birth man. Again, did. I didn't. Very interesting character. And part of me was hoping that like, it didn't have to be a battle to the end. I thought she was going to come out alive just because she, her character was so interesting. I just thought there's no way. But then again, I thought the the uh, the woman that she met, who I thought her character was amazing. And yeah. she only lasted an episode and a half. Yeah. I like that like even side characters and slow tiny little characters everyone should be interesting the only characters who really like you said failed the storyline were the wealthy people yeah. the VIPs they should have stayed in their masks and stayed basic and then but another not, thing I, I don't even I, for me I don't I don't feel like they had a, a role in it I feel I wish that they would have had another reason for doing the games or just that there was no reason it was just I, you know, it just felt, that felt a bit too predictable for me. I think they had to set it up that way so that the main character could, does he even know that though? Yeah, because, well, he knows, yeah, because the guy was saying, well, you're all just horses, you're our horses. Yeah, I think he And then the that. old guy was saying, oh, all the, my, you know, clients, well, we all got together and we thought, how can we make life interesting? That's some fucked up shit. Yeah. Oh, but and also he's, he's seen the guy's face. He's seen the front man's face. The front man is Darth Vader. And the, do you know who's that really old guy in Star Wars? 
They're like that's decrepit. The Sith, yeah, the Sith Lord. <laughs> that's, that's me. Star Wars has written so many things. I feel like there's a couple of shows if you see them. Basically, if you watch Star Wars, what is. No the... way that's original. He must have ripped that off from something else. But make it so famous, like the Beatles. Yeah. Who gave no context? <laughs> like, like the Beatles. There's a few things that the Beatles have ripped off, but it's like their version is so famous. Like, I'm still never going to go over this. I'm going to play about it every chance. Like, I keep thinking about the genre of rock. That's not a genre. <laughs> it's literally, it's gone so far that now it's like a real genre. It's like that's a made up genre. You've taken rock and roll, Afrobeat, funk, which is arguably a derivative of Afrobeat, but whatever. And you've just caught, and you've taken blues, and you've just called it rock. That's music. (laughs) The only thing I would say, okay, that is rock music, is stuff made by, what's his name, Dave Grohl. I feel like that I couldn't put anywhere else. That's rock music. Everything else, I can put it somewhere. And it's not rock. There's no such thing. You can't just make a funk album and call it psychedelic rock and change the name of the genre. Like, you can't do that. So that I, now I when will... I make a song, people are like, what's this? <laughs> what <laughs> kind of rock is this? And I'm like, this is a... Don't check me. <laughs> this is fucking rock. It's like soulful rock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Even when people are like, that's rock and roll. There's nothing white about rock and roll. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Listen, once again, we've gone, we've gone over time. There was a lot to get yeah, through. So much. And, get through. Yeah. I didn't do yeah. it justice at all. Do we ever? No. <gasps> Guess what I went to see the cinema this week. We'll talk about it next week. The new James the Bond. The new James Bond? Yeah. Okay, you have to do it. We have to go. We have to do an episode. <laughs> okay. You have to go and see it. Oh my okay. God, did you see... Did you see the tweet that was like, I'm going to watch the new James Bond movie in 10 years on ITV2 as intended? <laughs> I'm sorry, that's fair. <laughs> Why pay good money for it? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when you can watch it along with the rest oh. of the world on ITV in 10 years. Guess how much the tickets were? Four people, 100 quid spent in the cinema. Four who, who, tell me what family can go <laughs> in on a day out these days can you imagine no but they do have a deal where if you come with kids two if you bring two kids your ticket is the same price as two you can have two adult tickets for the same price as the kids tickets but even so it just gets so expensive, so expensive. i couldn't on, afford like, a day it. out to like the zoo or something no that's that is i think the most in in city events are the most expensive prohibitively expensive no what you need to do is get your kids a pair of wellies and take them on a walk as long as they're in a big, they don't fucking know where they are. You go in the garden. It's on the pavement. There's a park. No, it's a garden. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Go on a street walk. <laughs> There's a dead pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I would, if I had kids, I would take them to, I know I can hear parents being like, good fucking luck. I would take them to like a national park and just. Not the yeah, in, but not the to, hard like, bits. A, maybe you've bits. got need to have a car, or you've got to be able to afford yeah. a train ticket. If no, you, you can only buses. no, you can't get the trains with like, the kids. You'd have to have a car. But it's just ridiculous. But, okay, you could take them to the beach, but you'd still need a car or yeah. or train tickets. But train tickets are expensive. Oh my god, the train to the beach is five. so expensive. Or even a family of four. Oh man, I, I don't know. <laughs> Look at us talking about, and this is why we'll never have kids, just can't afford it. No, but the cost of living is too high. I blame Matt Hancock. Good <laughs> <laughs> to the UN. <laughs> He's going to like bankrupt his department in a week. <laughs> yeah, just in trying to cover up all the cases of indecent behaviour. Actual, like field visits. He's going to be really offensive. Don't do that to them. Don't do that to Africa. Are you joking? It's too late. It's been done. 
where's he going? And is he just responsible for the whole of the continent of Africa? Yeah, it's the economic, <laughs> yeah, it's the economic recovery of COVID on the entire ginormous, huge, multiple state continent of Africa. <laughs> you just can't do it. And, he and couldn't it's manage Matt Hancock. One, <laughs> one island. <laughs> it's Matt one Hancock. island. My God. <laughs> But the thing about Matt Hancock is I understand why you'd hire him if you have no intention, if the if the real intention is to, like, steal money. Apart from that, what what's he there for? I don't get it. I don't get it. Well, I guess we'll watch the story unfold, sadly. If only it wasn't just at the expense of actual people. I don't think it really is because it's just, it's not like, um, I don't know how much his decisions will affect individuals. I think it's more that it will just block money. I'm going to the right place. What's the word phrase? I want to say no love lost. Because it's like, okay, somebody says to me personally, it's like being promised a tax break when the Conservative government comes yeah, yeah, like, I know I'm just never going to happen. Yeah. So it's like, what am I losing here? But I guess, yeah, is uh, that it could, the world could, oh, it could all be so, it could all be so simple. He had it coming. <laughs> Honestly, when he gets bludgeoned to death, God forgive me. Okay, I won't. I'll stop. Woo, yeah. <laughs> Not by me. That, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I just meant in general. But don't say we didn't warn you. You can't take We're just going to be in the chorus line. We're not going to be on the front line. <laughs> oh, um, oh, Lord. Oh, the sugar oh. babes got their name back. Sorry, I will stop. What, what do you mean? When did they get it, get it taken away? So the Sugar Babes name, rights, all of that stuff was taken away. And as you know, by the end... Is it original three, lineup or...? Yeah, and the original lineup, three original members have known each other since they were in like secondary school. That was like a long thing. They were singing together for a long time. By the time it was over, all three members had been replaced. And then when the original members were like, okay, let's get back together, we want to know this new music. And... Honestly, they are phenomenal vocalists. Ah, the, okay, the original three got there. Yeah. Yeah. So it was like a long legal battle. They, I didn't think they were ever going to get their name back. They got their name back. And so they remastered and re-released their first album, which has the absolute smash. Train comes, I don't know, know it's destination. destination. Absolute classic, iconic song. Oh, situation. Yeah, but that was good news I had this week. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god guys it's sugar babes but honestly it was really good news for me guys so go happy. and stream that album give them some love you better stream it and when are they going to delete because there was only one album that was uh, released without any of the original members they have to delete that Just i watched the sugar i watched the whole thing unfold i listened to the end not the whole albums but still I'm not going to get into that little mix story because you guys know you. If you've been listening to this podcast, guess how I feel about it. <laughs> um, oh god, I don't know, but we're not going to get into it because, no. like I said, we've gone over time and we've got to wrap this up. So thanks for sticking with us to the end, as always. Um, Sorry, none of that was about Squid Game. Oh my god, this is such a long Squid Game. You said it right. Yay! (laughs) (laughs) If you've watched it, let us know what you thought. Tell us the key things that we missed because I feel like we've probably not talked about any of the things that other people know. What did we get wrong? Also, can I just say I'm really sorry about the fact that we didn't really use anybody's any of the characters' names. And can you we please apply that apology to every show on every film we've ever watched? We never know anybody. Well, you do. I never know any characters' names. It's really bad. I'll try harder. Anyway. Oh my god, I just need something that'll piss me off. We'll talk about it off there. Okay. I'll speak to you later. Bye. Wait there just a minute, buddy. Rewind the 